back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a vloggy style video because I recently was gifted the most amazing glossy box. Honestly, I can't wait to show you it later. It's the July glossy box and rather than do like a normal sit down unboxing video, I thought why don't I do a little bit of a vlog? So that's what I'm going to do today. It's just going to be one, like one day, one daily vlog. I'm not doing anything exciting, so don't get too giddy about it. But I thought that I would, yeah, just try and do a little vlog instead. So today, I've had a workout in the studio, which you might have seen. Now, by no means am I like a professional which you'll have gathered watching those clips. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just do what feels right and what makes me feel like better about myself. So today I did some uh, jogging, some weights and some skipping. And I also tried to do some hula hooping, but oh my God, I could not keep the hoop up. I used to be really good at it when I was younger, but I just can't, I can't do it. My auntie's coming later and she used to be really, really good at hooping. So when she comes, I'm gonna see if she can try it on that hoop and tell me if it's just a dodgy hoop or whether it's just me that's dodgy and can't do it anymore. So right now I'm just getting ready for her to come. I need to do a few bits around the house, just tidy up and get some bits and pieces sorted. My battery is actually really low, which I'm fuming about because I didn't realize. So I need to put my camera on charge for a little bit. But before I do that, I want to show you what cake we've got today for Coffee and Cake Friday because, oh my God, it looks amazing. One second. So last night I went to Tesco to go and get a cake for today because if you don't know, we have this tradition with my auntie which is Coffee and Cake Friday. So every Friday or every Friday before lockdown, we used to have coffee and cake and a nice catch up. And this, I don't know if you can actually see it. Do you know what? It looks really, really blown out today. Anyway, there's the cake. Can you see it better that way? Let's see if we can focus a little bit better. It's a coffee and chocolate cake. This is new from Tesco and it's from the finest range. It says it's a rich chocolate and Colombian coffee sponge filled with Belgian chocolate buttercream, topped with Colombian coffee buttercream and finished with coffee flavor decorations. I am so looking forward to trying this. I try and be really good usually and not eat things like cake and biscuits and crisps and sweets, but sometimes, you know the times I'm on about, I just need to eat something sweet. So I'm really looking forward to eating this chocolate and coffee cake, but I will limit myself to just a small amount, but I'll tell you how it is later. So anyway, I need to go and finish getting ready and then I will join you soon and show you this cake. <laughs> Before I disappear and go and get everything sorted and put my camera on charge, I thought I would show you this outfit that I picked up from Boohoo. Well, actually the whole outfit isn't from Boohoo, it's just these leggings that are from Boohoo. How many times am I gonna say Boohoo in one sentence? Anyway, because I'm looking for things to like work out in and lounge around in, I wanted something that was like really nice and comfy that I can wear in the daytime, but also something that I could go for like a jog in in the morning or like walking and I think these are absolutely perfect. These are the camo fit leggings and if you can see like on the back they just really hold you in nicely and help to shape you and the waistband is so thick on them that it feels really really comfortable so like if you're stretching or bending down or sitting down it just holds you in nicely and it feels super comfortable and really like supportive. It's got the little um woman right in there which i'm not that keen on but it's okay it is what it is um oh god what love island saying that is it is what it is who's watching love island by the way i think it's a bit boring at the minute um today is friday so it's been on for like a week and i'm actually quite bored with it at the minute so i hope it gets a little bit juicier uh anyway back to the outfit so this i actually bought from primark the other day and I thought it'd be a really good colour match for this and it is it just works really nicely with it this does actually um well it doesn't come with a matching top but you can buy a matching top for it which is long sleeved and it's got little thumb holes on it I will show you that one later on today at some point so you can see what um the like matching set is like 
or in fact would you prefer like a little haul video instead and I can do like a little try on haul because I have picked up quite a few new bits um, recently from Primark and Boohoo so let me know if you would rather see that instead and I'll I'll wait for the answers and if not I'll just like show them on Instagram or something like that all the details are always in my description box yeah Love Island I don't know what it is I just I'm not feeling it so much this time I can't even remember all of the names I'm just not keen I'm just not keen this time. I think I need to give it a little bit more time. Usually it takes me about two episodes to get into the season and start warming to people. Um, the only person that I really like at the moment is Aaron. Um, and I think that's it. Girls wise, I'm not so sold. I'm not too sold. I quite like Faye because I think she's quite dry in her humour. And I think she was a bit misunderstood when she first came on on that first episode. But we'll see i'm not i'm not gonna i'm gonna sit on the fence at the minute and not really go for anyone let me know in the comments if you're watching love island and who are your like favorite girl and favorite boy at the moment just let me know the details because i'm interested to know if it's just me that's just like got really old and boring over the space of a year and not that into it anymore anyway guys i really need to go and get sorted now and get my camera on charge so i will see you very soon <laughs> later now um just getting up for lunchtime and i wanted to show you a brand new glossy box that just arrived by the way look at this oh you can't even see it look at this cup it's so chavvy i absolutely love it <laughs> i've actually had this cup for years my mum and dad bought it for me one christmas when i was like going through a playboy phase do you guys remember that phase like maybe if you were at school at the same time as me Everybody was wearing clothes by Playboy and there was like bags that you could get and zip up hoodies and things and I was just really obsessed with it and I really really liked anything to do with it and they ended up getting me that mug and I just I love it I can't get rid of it I've had it for so long and it's so tacky but I just can't part with it so I'm not going to I'm going to keep it forever and ever and when I'm like 70 years old or older I'll have my cup of tea in it and I'll be proud. Anyway, so now I want to show you a glossy box, but I've forgotten my cardigan. Just a minute, I'll be back. I'm back. I had to change into this um, black cardigan rather than the white one because I just know that I'm going to get that chocolate cake on my white cardigan. <laughs> And I don't want to do that, so I've had to change it. And I only bought the white one the other day from Primark, which will be in the haul if you want to see the haul. But anyway, let's have a drink and show you the brand new July Glossy Box. This is just gorgeous. Look at this. It's like a little treasure chest. Can you see that detail? 
it's so pretty like a little lock and key I absolutely love this box how pretty is that so when you open it up this is what it looks like on the inside this month it's all printed how gorgeous is that it's so nice and um, by the way this is gifted to me um i didn't purchase this this was ever so kindly gifted to me uh, from glossy box let me open the box up and show you what's inside i was absolutely thrilled with this it's just such a gorgeous gorgeous box i've opened a couple of bits so let me just move those out of the way so you can see exactly what it looks like when you get your own box so once you open it up that is what it looks like inside there are so many goodies in there and there's food <laughs> i love a box when you get food in it um so let's let's just start with in fact no we'll start with the card here sorry if that's noisy for you guys um glossy box here's the little like card that comes with the glossy box to tell you what's inside we like to think of our monthly glossy box boxes as a treasure trove of beauty gems and this month in our july beauty treasures edit you're going to love discovering the latest finds hidden away inside from skincare that will refresh and uplift to makeup that will allow you to shimmer like gold your search for this month's must-haves is over I, I just love this box, I think it's so pretty, I love it when there's like a limited edition, like special design box, it's just so, so beautiful, great for gifting as well if you've got anybody's birthday coming up, or you just want to tell your friends that you love them, get them a nice glossy box, uh, first things first, Belvita, this is a baked bar and it's the dark chocolate and hazelnut bar, I won't be able to eat this because there's a pretty good chance that I have a hazelnut allergy. I say a pretty good chance because I've never properly been tested, which is something that I really want to have done actually. I've spoken to my doctor about this. I have a peanut allergy um, and ever since I was little, I've just never eaten any kind of nut, apart from coconut, which is not obviously a true nut. Um, but I don't know if I can eat hazelnut and if I can, it's going to be a whole new world for me because then I can eat Nutella. I can see what all the fuss is about. Like, do you like Nutella? Because everybody I speak to seems to be absolutely obsessed with Nutella. And I've never been able to have it. And it makes me so sad because I really want to try it. I just want to try the nuts. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Belvita baked bar. And also these little extra refreshers. Oh, look on. Look at those. Can't wait to try those. I like a bit of bubble gum. So, right, let's get into the actual like product side of the box. First thing that I saw, and I was so so excited about it, is this from Il Masca. This is the Beyond Powder and it's the highlighter. And I was so hoping it would be in this shade, and it's the exact shade that I absolutely adore. It's in the shade OMG. This when it's on your face is absolutely incredible or on your chest it gives a look i've not got it on at the moment so i don't know why i'm doing this um but it just gives you a lovely shimmer it is such a beautiful champagne -y color highlighter if you are subscribed to the look fantastic beauty box they actually sent out a beyond liquid highlighter in this same shade just for july and it's stunning in fact I've got a bit on my cheeks today that you should be able to see. Um, favourite highlighter, I think. That one and Mary Lou by The Balm. Absolutely love, absolutely love them. Firm favourites. Next in the box is a product from, I think you pronounce it like Kinder Beauty. It says K-N-D-R Beauty, but I think it's Kinder. And it says Kind Bronze Bronzer. And that's what it looks like. It's like a seasidey theme again to match the box. That's just beautiful. And this is the actual bronzer once you get it out. That's what it looks like. And then when you open it up, that's what it looks like inside the pan. And then the next item in the box is from Enco Beauty, which is this one here. And this is a cheek and lip tint. It says it's blendable, quick drying, a natural flush of colour and it's for face and lips. And the colour is flamingo pink. So that's what it looks like 
once you open it up and I'll show you a little swatch of it because I did try it yesterday and it's so bright and pretty. It reminds me of a lipstick that I used to have from MAC years ago or was it a lip gloss? It, I'm sure it's called Pink Poodle or something like that. That's what it looks like and then you can blend it out. It does look a little bit scary when you first put it on but when you blend it out it's beautiful. So imagine that if you put that on your cheek and your lips, it'll look so, so nice. Really nice for like a springy, summery look. Um, so yeah, that one is Emco. Next in the box is a product from a company called Orica. Orica, is that what they're called? Yeah, Orica. And it's the Aura Body Fragrance Mist in the scent Tropique. And it says it's an island escape in a bottle. This Tropique Mist captivates island florals and warm rays of light and allows you to add a luxurious scent that embodies exactly that to your skin. Just a spritz or two of this body fragrance will also leave your skin feeling super soft. I smelt this the other day when it first came and it smells absolutely gorgeous. I really love this. It just smells really, really tropical. If you can imagine like a really nice tropical sort of sun cream smell, not chemically, but like the coconutty kind of smell, it's so nice. I can't wait to wear this one. It'd be perfect for like sunny days at the beach if you just want a bit of a refresher. And then the last item in the box is something that I've never tried before. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. It's from a company called FOMO. Uh, like foam and O, and it's called a shower steamer. Refresh your spirit for an amazing shower experience and it's in apple and star fruit scent. So it says that you place this onto your shower floor, turn on the shower and allow a short time for the aroma of apple and star fruit and sweet orange essential oils to enhance your shower experience. So it's kind of like a bath bomb, I suppose, but for your shower. I've seen them before, but I've never actually tried them. So I'm really, really looking forward to trying this. Um, I'll give you a verdict on that on Instagram or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's the glossy box for July. I think it's such a beautiful box. I do have a discount code for Glossy Box as well, which will allow you to get some money off your first box. So you can use my code, which is Rachel D, and you will get your first box for just £11. But I will put all the details in the description box for you anyway, so don't worry about noting any details down. Um, so yeah, that's the Glossy Box. I'm actually going to try a couple of these bits from the box before my auntie comes today. Um, and I'll let you know what I think of them. I'm really interested to try the bronzer, but I just need to film like a little bit of um, unboxing and pictures for like Insta stories and things like that first before I delve in and try anything. So I like it to look nice and neat when I'm taking the pictures. So yeah, I'll come back to you and let you know what I think about those. So for now, I'm just going to go and finish my coffee, my nice little tacky cup that I love. <laughs> Oh, it's really bright. Um, and then it'll be time for my auntie to come. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Are you going to say hello to everybody on the vlog? Huh? Guys, it's been ages since I picked up the camera. It's still Friday, um, but it's about half past eight now and my auntie's been and gone. We had an amazing afternoon. Look at this one. <laughs> She's so cute. In fact, let me just put you down, little Lily. We had an amazing afternoon. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, the coffee cake, oh, that was so nice. I would definitely, definitely buy that one again. If you like coffee cake or you like chocolate cake, try it. I think you'll like it. So we had that. Um, we had a few coffees and we had a really nice chat and just spent hours catching up. It was really, really nice. Um, and then tonight we went out and got um, a takeaway. We There's this place near us that does really good kebabs. So we had a chicken shish and a lamb shish kebab with paprika chips. Oh my God, they are so nice. Um, so I've just eaten that and now I'm trying to get rid of the banging headache that I've got. I've actually had it for days now. This happened to me last time um, when I had the Pfizer vaccine. Um, maybe like the day after and for a week after I had the most horrendous headache and that's what I've got at the moment. Look at these. 
they're like wings little wings um so i'm trying to get rid of my headache and i've been trying to drink this water this is quite a big bottle this is 750 mils and i try and drink a few of these a day a few to like four a day um but nothing's shifting this headache i just don't know what to try for it now i've tried ice i've tried heat i've tried tiger balm i've tried chocolate i've tried water i've tried apple because that's meant to be really good for you granny smith apple if you've got a headache it's meant to be a good hack to help get rid of it that's not touched it i've tried sleeping i've tried stretching uh what else have i tried painkillers ibuprofen i've even tried my codeine that my doctor gave to me when i'm having like high pain days with my illness um but nothing absolutely nothing's helping it's driving me insane so anyway guys what i'm going to do now is get in the shower and have a nice relaxing hot shower and try and get rid of my headache and while i'm in the shower i think i'm going to listen to um a true crime youtube case by eleanor neal if you like true crime and you've not watched eleanor's channel definitely go and search her up and give her a watch i love listening to her stuff and she's from the uk as well so it's nice to hear somebody from the uk um, because I do follow a lot of American uh, like true crime YouTubers but I just love being able to watch somebody who is so close to home as well. Anyway guys, um, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here. I don't know if this is going to be like enough footage for a decent-ish vlog um, but if not I might pick up again tomorrow but if I don't please do let me know in the comments below if you like the vlog style videos and if you prefer seeing like unboxings like the glossy box in with a vlog i would really appreciate your feedback on that right guys i'm gonna go and get in the shower and get ready to have a nice chilled out evening i hope you're having an amazing weekend whatever you are up to and i will hopefully see you on the next vlog very very soon bye mm -hmm.